What's up everybody? 915 Mang here hanging out with you guys today. Got a bunch of things going on and uh, I know it's been a minute. So I'm going to go ahead and start this video off with some orders that I have placed. This one is from my buddy, my reef to yours, Jared. Uh, he's always hooking me up with Zillas and other nice corals. And I'm going to just show you uh, some of the things that I picked up from him, his uh, website. I'm always picking up nice frags at affordable prices there on his website. Um, I do pay for everything, but uh, it's a great, great place to shop if you're in the market for some of those. As you can see, I did a nice little coral haul. Um, and the reason why is because my 150 uh, is starting to be, you know, more established. Things are ready for some more corals. And uh, I got a lot of things uh, to happen with that tank. Um, I'm not moving anymore. I don't plan on doing anything else. And uh, so my tank is not gonna be starting over. You know, it's gonna be established. And uh, I did start it over with some like uh, dry rocks and things like that. But it's been a minute. Uh, been in my house since, you know, October. And when I moved, I ended up breaking down my tank. And I'm losing a lot of nice uh, pieces. I had my SPS going really nicely. So now I'm going to go ahead and get some more Zoas and stock it up. You know, moving is real hard. You know, just when you have things going the way you want it to go. And then I ended up breaking it all down. I mean, it was worth it in the long run. But uh, now it's time to get my tank back on track and add some nice... Uh, fire into the tank Some of my favorite corals are zoas and pallies. I have tried my luck with the SPS Just not one of those SPS masters like some of you guys like a lot of you guys uh, So that's why I like the zoas. They come in different colors, you know, they grow really nicely and uh, You know th those are my my thing uh, Probably my favorite type of coral. So what I'm gonna also do is is change the direction of the way that my reef tank is going um, some of the things that i'm going to do is i purchased a lot of uh, frag disc not uh little plugs you know i have plenty of plugs but i i actually purchased a bunch of these frag discs they're little squares or tiles and these ones are uh, two inch tiles um, i ended up picking these up from aquarium specialty they're an online shop uh, and uh, they had what I wanted because one pack comes with like seven of these tiles and the reason why is I'm going to get rid of all my um, sand that I had in my tank. Uh, like I said, I got these from Aquarium Specialty. I thought they were two inches, but they're three inches. Um, so this is the way the tank was right after the move. You know, it was a big mess and I lost... A lot of uh, zoas and things that I that I really wanted. Uh, I don't know what happened to them. Some of them, you know, things just died. It was a big mess. So I purchased those tiles to help clean up my tank. And you'll see what I'm talking about here, probably in the next video, in the next episode. Um, so what I want you guys to do is go ahead and hit that uh, subscribe and follow along. And you can see how I turned this tank right here into a nice tank. You know, everybody goes through it moving and, you know, the ups and downs. And I'm definitely showing you guys the ups and downs of my tank. Right now, this is uh, one of the down pieces. You know, you can see my SPS right there is bleached out. Um, I went through quite a bit of uh, downs with this tank, but uh, like everything, doesn't last forever I like showing you what I've gone through with it because you know if I've gone through it somebody else is going through it and you can give me your input on how you beat it and this is what I'm doing to make you know how I got through it so it's a community we can all share what we know and share some of the ups and downs and the experiences and as you can see right here I lost a lot of pieces I lost a lot of coral you know I didn't I'm not gonna let that hold me down in the next couple videos you're going to see what it is from then to what it is now which is i'm really excited about that to show you guys the uh, mess 
but uh, that's just how it is, you know. Bad things happen real fast, and then good things, you know, take a, a, some time to happen. You know, I lost some of my pieces. That little tiny piece, SPS in the middle, was one of my Walt Disney's, uh, which I don't have anymore. And uh, I, like I said, I lost a lot of SPS. That one right there on the right was really, really nice and colorful. Had some awesome reds to it. As you can see, it pretty much died off, almost dead, and uh, which would make a lot of people just want to quit. But I'm, not me. I'm going to keep going. Um, you know, like I said, it, it's been a lot of fun, lots of ups and downs. Let me know what you think in the comments below and your experiences. If you guys want to follow along and see how the tank is going, hit that subscribe button um, because I show it how it is. I'm not trying to sell you anything and uh, I think that you know us as a community should start questioning some of these people who do push a lot of products um, because you don't see their tanks you know they just tell you to buy this and buy that but they never show you their tanks and uh, I definitely show you my tank you know I'm sponsored by me myself and I and uh, we're gonna get this tank popping again man i hope your guys's tanks are doing good i hope your guys tanks are popping and if you're getting started in the hobby and you came across my uh, channel you know follow along because uh, i got a lot of great information you know i've tried out a whole bunch of different things some things work for me some things you know really haven't i've been in the reefing for quite some time you know and uh that's what it's all about guys I like doing these videos and we're going to have a whole bunch of videos rolling out here shortly. But the thing is, I wanted to show you guys what the tank looked like and then we're going to show you where it's at now in the next couple of videos. And as you can see, there's a big difference from what you just saw. This was my tank in the past before I moved while I was still doing water changes, while I was still doing everything. You can see I had great coloration my enemies everything was happy um, and you know my tank was doing really really good but then I moved you know I had things growing really good and uh, I liked it I liked it a lot I was real sad to tear it down but you know I totally went a different direction from you know where the tank was where the tank is right now and then where it's going now in the future this fish I haven't updated any fish you know I kept the same amount of fish I would like to get some different ones later on uh, but I want to do some like smaller fish maybe some antheas add and maybe another clown fish a black uh, clown to my tank um, do some more but I've always been more into the coral I've had the fish for the movement of the tank you know it's real relaxing and everything but the fun and the challenge for me is the uh, corals. Um, like I said, I want to get some more SPS, some more acros. And, uh, but this order that I showed you in the beginning, it was from uh, my reef to yours. And I, I go to them for all my Zoas and Pallies. And, uh, you know, I'm going to stock my tank up real good with them. On that note, I just want to close out this video. I hope you guys have a good one. Hey, thanks to everybody who stayed subscribed and uh, follow me along the Instagram. You know where I am and I uh, really appreciate all of you guys. Hit that subscribe guys and uh, I'll show you what's up in the next couple of videos. Have a good one.